In this video, I'm going to be describing how to apply for your STEM OPT extension. And in particular, we're going to be discussing how to complete the form I-983. So if you are currently in the process of applying for your STEM OPT or thinking about applying for your STEM OPT in the future, you want to make sure you watch this video through to the end so you can learn exactly how to go about applying for your STEM OPT. Hey, it's Chuki here from SojournerScholar.com, where we help international students thrive academically and professionally. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to catch up with all the latest high value content coming your way. So let's get into it. Applying for your STEM OPT is quite similar to the application process for your F1 post completion OPT. Now I have made a video describing how to apply for your F1 post completion OPT, and you can find a link to that video in the description section below. To be eligible for the STEM OPT extension, you must satisfy the following five criteria. The first criteria is that you must have obtained a STEM degree from a U.S. university, and that could be a bachelor's, a master's, or a doctorate degree. The second criteria is that you must have a job offer, and the job offer must be with an employer who is in the E-Verify system managed by the Department of Homeland Security. The third criteria is that you must currently be engaged in the initial 12 months of post-completion OPT. The fourth criteria is that you must apply before the end date on your current 12 months of post-completion OPT. And the fifth criteria is that you must not have accrued more than 90 days of unemployment during your 12 months post-completion OPT. Now for students who are eligible to apply for the STEM OPT extension, the main difference between applying for your F1 post-completion OPT and your STEM OPT extension is the I-20 that's used in your application. In order to receive an I-20 endorsed for STEM OPT extension, you are required to complete what's called a Form I-983. This form is a training plan that describes in detail the nature of the work you do for your employer and how that work is related to your field of study. It's also very important to note that this form contains a certification that your employer is required to sign. To find the Form I-983, we can perform a quick Google search. Upon downloading the Form I-983, you want to pay attention to the expiration date found on the top right hand corner of page number 1. You always want to make sure that this expiration date is not current at the time you submit your application to USCIS. Now in section number 1, you're going to be filling out your student information accordingly and in section number 2, you're going to be signing and dating this form. Section number three will be completed by your employer where your employer will fill in information about the company, the work you do, and the amount of compensation you're going to receive. Section number four is a certification section where your employer will sign and date the form. Section number five should be completed by you and your employer. Preferably, it should be someone who has direct supervision of your work. And finally, in section number six, whoever will be in direct supervision of your training plan should sign and date the form in this section. The last page of the training plan called the Evaluation on Student Progress should not be submitted when applying for your STEM OPT extension. So once you're done filling out the training plan for the form I-983, your International Student Office is going to review this document and use this to process your form I-20 endorsed for STEM OPT extension. Upon receiving your Form I-20 endorsed for STEM extension, you're going to add that to your application packet including other documents such as the Form I-765, copies of your international passport, etc. and mail that out to USCIS. Now when it comes to applying for your STEM OPT extension, you're allowed to apply as early as 90 days before the end date of your current post-completion OPT. If you have any questions or concerns about applying for your STEM OPT extension, make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll be glad to clarify those questions. If you found this video very helpful, please give this video a like and share it and also subscribe to the channel to catch up with similar high value content coming your way. Thank you for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.